the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's love. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 168, 2 Kings 11 to 14. Amos, Hosea, and Jonah's historical context. In South Judah, the throne which was taken by Athaliah by force was restored by Joash. North Israel prospered in the age of Jeroboam II. First point. Priest Jehoiada tried to keep to the way of David in South Judah. When Jehu killed Joram from the north and Ahaziah from the south, Athaliah, the mother of Ahaziah, saw that her son was dead, and so she proceeded to destroy the whole royal family. Whilst this was happening, Jehoshiba, the daughter of King Jehoram, took Joash, the son of Ahaziah, and raised him in secret for six years. And in the seventh year, Jehoiada led a revolution. This included securing the commanders of a unit of a hundred, the Kairites and the goddess. Jehoiada, moreover, used the day of Sabbath for the revolution. Jehoiada used three of the five groups of goddess in the palace for the revolution and the remaining two groups to protect the temple. The next thing Jehoiada did was to place the eighth-year-old Joash as the eighth king of South Judah. And finally, Athaliah was stabbed to death by the people of South Judah. Second point, Jehoiada helped King Joash to strengthen a kingdom of priests in South Judah. Jehoiada, who was able to seize Athaliah, made Joash the new king of South Judah and carried out a religious reformation. Jehoiada made the people remember the covenant they had made with God. Jehoiada also got rid of the idols in South Judah. Next, the temple was restored in order for offerings to be made again. As such, Jehoiada succeeded in the religious reformation and was successful in making Joash the new king. During the days when Jehoiada was alive, the people of South Judah were good at keeping the laws of the kingdom of priests. Joash restored the temple as instructed by Jehoiada. However, despite the order of Joash to restore the temple, nothing was done for 23 years. This was because the finances and the resources for the temple were not sufficient. So Joash tried to find a solution for this. The priests were responsible for collecting the funds for restoration. But this time Joash commanded the people to collect the funds and for the king and the priests to check on this. Joash moreover hired professionals for the restoration. The reason this was all possible was because Joash had secured the finances for the restoration as well as the living expenses of the priests. But Joash, who was dedicated to God, started to have a change in heart. This happened when priest Jehoiada died, and the leaders of South Judah started to shift Joash's heart towards the idols. Thus, Joash changed towards the late years of his rule, and therefore was unable to avoid God's punishment. God's punishment was as follows. The first of these punishments was Hazael, king of Aram, attacking South Judah. The second was that Joash had to offer tribute to Hazael. The third was that Joash was killed by his servants. Third point. The Omni monarchy came to an end when the Jehu monarchy began, and this was when Elisha died. Elisha became ill, and so Jehoash, the king of North Israel, came to see him. Although Jehoash called Elisha my father, he had no intention of following his instructions. 
Jehoash reported the political circumstances with Aram to Elisha. So, despite being ill, Elisha delivered God's message through symbolic gestures. Facing death, Elisha worked hard until the end. Elisha's words to take the arrow and to hit the ground all related to war. And by placing his hands on Jehoash's hands, he gave God's strength to him. But unfortunately, Jehoash did not believe in God's strength. Elisha was angry at Jehoash because of this. To the commandment to strike the arrow on the ground, Jehoash only struck three times. Therefore, he heard that he would not be able to win fully against Aram. Afterwards, although Jehoash was able to restore the land taken from Aram, he was not able to fully win. First point. Amaziah, who was the ninth king of South Judah, was taken as a captive by the twelfth king of North Israel, Jehoash. In the second year of Jehoash of North Israel, Joash in South Judah became murdered by his servants. And so his son Amaziah became the ninth king of South Judah. After seeing his father murdered at the age of 25, Amaziah led the next 29 years with force, and so he was able to make South Judah rich and powerful. And when he was at his strongest, he killed the servants who killed his father. But keeping to the laws of Moses, he did not kill their children. Amaziah furthermore counted men who were 20 years old and above from the tribes of Judah and Benjamin, which added up to 300,000 and appointed captains of a thousand and a hundred. Amaziah used 200 pieces of silver to hire 100,000 soldiers from those Israel. This was because Amaziah was preparing for war against Edom. But God intervened in Amaziah's plan. God told him to return the soldiers to lose Israel and to not get them involved in this war. And so Amaziah returned the soldiers back to lose Israel. Amaziah listened to God and took the 300,000 to fight and won the war against Edom. But this war flew in a strange direction afterwards. The 100,000 soldiers who had to return to North Israel became angry that they could not fight, and so they laid the towns belonging to Judah, from Samaria to Bethlehem, and killed 3,000 people, and then carried off great quantities of plunder. And so South Judah had to fight with Edom and then with North Israel. And because of this, South Judah's lands in Jerusalem became severely damaged. Jehoash took Amaziah as captive, and he was only able to return to South Judah after Jehoash's death. Fifth point, the abundance during the 13th king of North Israel, Jeroboam II, became the historical background for Amos, Hosea, and Jonah. The 13th king of North Israel was Jeroboam II, and he expanded the territories of North Israel the most and recorded a period of great abundance. For the next 50 years, North Israel was not attacked by surrounding countries and enjoyed great wealth. During this time, God sent his servant Jonah, son of Amittai, the prophet from God's heifer to North Israel. North Israel was to remember God's mercy. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tongok Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does. The way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in 
in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tom Dot Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel that healing that comes from mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app.